Hello. Today I want to talk about why English people don't learn other languages. Now there may be many different reasons for this, but I'm going to talk about three reasons which I think sum up basically uh, why most English people don't speak languages, even though I am uh, myself an exception to this rule. So the first reason I think why English people don't speak other languages is uh, exposure. When you learn another language, it's very important that you have a lot of exposure to the language. Now, if you go on YouTube, for example, you'll find that basically 90% of the content is in English. And although you can find uh, content in Italian and Spanish and German and other languages, it's, um, it's very probable that you're going to come across English content. In fact, often when I go onto YouTube to look for content in Spanish or Italian, I get presented with suggestions in English. Because so much of the content on YouTube is in English. In fact, the world is swimming in a sea of digital English. If you have access to the internet, it's really not difficult to find English. So exposure to English is very easy. Uh, and most of the internet, in fact, is in English. I suppose since the internet was made by English-speaking people. A second factor in uh, language learning is motivation. Now, there is huge motivation for people who don't speak English as a first language to learn it, um, either for their job or to travel um, or just for personal pleasure so they can uh, uh, consume content which is in English, which connects to our first point. Um, so there's, in many cases, there is a necessity to learn the language. In other cases, it's a question of pleasure. In our international world, English is a language which unifies everyone. So there is a very strong motivation to learn English. On the other hand, if you speak uh, English as a first language, there's not a huge amount of motivation uh, to learn other languages unless you go to another country in the backwaters, let's say, uh, where people don't speak uh, your language. But in most cases, if you're living in England, that's probably not going to be the case. Now, a third point I want to consider is uh, levels of comfort. So. Let's say you are, for example, a French person and you speak English to a B1 level. So you don't speak it perfectly, but you can more or less express yourself, at least rudimentary concepts. So you go to England and you want to ask someone for directions. You might feel slightly uncomfortable because you don't speak English uh, perfectly and you're aware that you might make mistakes and so forth. Maybe you think you're going to be judged. These are all normal feelings. But it's very probable that the person you speak to, the English person, is not going to know your language. So really, you're going to need to express yourself in English, and that can be quite comforting. Uh, you really have to speak it. So even though you get things wrong, it's the only way of communication you have. On the other hand, if you're an English native speaker, uh, the situation is kind of different. If uh, an English person goes to Spain and wants to practice his Spanish, there's a strong uh, probability that a Spanish person who he speaks to is going to know at least some English and perhaps even wants to practice his English. The thought that someone might switch to English is extremely unmotivating and doesn't make you feel very comfortable. Uh, for a person who learns English, on the other hand, this uh, probability, although there, uh, it's not uh, impossible, is much more remote. So I think a combination of these three factors explains why non-English -speaking, uh, non speaking people learn English as a second language and with quite a good rate of success, uh, and English people don't learn other languages. I hope this has explained, uh, or at least given you something to think about, uh, as to why English people don't speak other languages. 
And perhaps next time you consider uh, an English person who doesn't speak any other language apart from English, you won't jump to the conclusion that he's lazy and stupid, but rather that there are external factors um, which kind of prevent him from learning. And in face of those, if an English person does manage to learn another language, then probably he must really want to. And it probably hasn't been as easy as it could have been if it had been the opposite situation. Ciao.